to be a master Don't wait for luck Dedicate yourself and you gon' find yourself Standing in the Hall of Fame Yeah And the world's gonna know your name What's up guys? Oh, zoomed in like a mother. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so getting ready for a morning workout. I'm feeling exhausted. I went and had legs yesterday and then I went and played basketball last night. Woke up this morning, I'm very thoit, very thoit. If y'all don't get that Austin Powers reference, I don't know what to do with y'all. You gotta watch Austin Powers, those are the best movies. Those are some of my favorites. Alright. Probably because I can quote every single one of them. All right, it's 8.03 right now. I should already been gone to the gym, but. All right, I was getting ready. I was getting, I was getting ready to do this video. Had my stringer on, I'm ready to go hit back. And I just wasn't feeling it, guys. I started feeling more of a chest workout. Mainly, there's two reasons because of this. One is because I didn't get an energy drink last night because everywhere was closed after basketball. I got up playing basketball at like 11, 11, 15, and everywhere was done already closed down. So, we're going with some strawberry margarita C4 mixed with some BPI Best BCAA snow cone flavor. This is the best flavor out there for any aminos, guys. I, I haven't found anybody that can top them yet. And uh, so, that's the reason I'm doing chess is because I don't have an energy drink because I, I like to save my pre-workout for my chest due to the fact that my chest is lagging more than my back. So that's my reasoning behind that. But I'm about to get ready. I'm about to take my shake. I got a scoop of C4 and a scoop of Best BCAA. And then I also got my stuff ready to go. I got my Sour Patch Kids. I'm just going to do a half a pack whenever I do a double day like this. I do half a pack of Sour Patch Kids. I got my post-workout shake. This is just one scoop. No creatine. Now, this is the new protein I got, guys. I'm loving this stuff. I've never done a blended whey before, but I think I might be making the switch. All right. PE Science. Physique Enhances the Sciences. They're select protein, all right? They, they break down everything and tell you there's, there's a blend, it's got BCAAs, uh, BSAs, the nutrients on there are phenomenal. Less than one carb, less than one sugar. And then on the back they show you uh, they don't use any cheap amino fillers and all this. And you can actually go onto their website and they have even more information, so even more information. So, Shout out to PE Science for making such a high quality protein. And I got the snickerdoodle flavor and that, I have, that's probably the best tasting way. I can almost like taste the cinnamon that's usually on a snickerdoodle. I can taste it in my mouth and going down my throat. I shouldn't have said that one. But anyways, I'm ready to, I want to try their uh, white chocolate mint flavor, but I just ordered four pound tub of animal whey chocolate mint which I mean I'm not I'm not upset about well I am because I spent the money but uh, I know it's gonna be good because animal has good products as well but I'm about to down this I'll probably I'll see you after back workout I just realized I said I'd see you after a back workout I'm going to hit chest I'm gonna see y'all before my back workout Getting ready for a back workout. Went and did chest this morning. About to go hit up back. And I got my stringer back on. Put it back on because I took it off this morning, like I said. But anyways, uh, not taking pre-workout this time. I stopped by Kroger after my chest workout. Got some energy drinks. Really digging these rock stars, guys. All right, this is the let's see, it's a rock star pure zero. It's like the equivalent of a white monster. And then we're also going to be having... You know, three, I'm gonna have three of those. Give me a pump. But, yeah, I really like this stuff. It's got more caffeine than a monster. Uh, a monster has 140 milligrams per can, 140 or 160. 
it still has 240. Now I'm just doing half a can though. I ain't about to, I ain't trying to have my caffeine levels through the roof for the day. So I'm gonna do half a can of that. Three NO3s and go hit some back. But on the way, you gotta stop, take care of some business. In other words, pick up Jake's clothes because he left them. So stop by his house, pick up his clothes, see you on the gym. Alright, we just made it to Jake's house, I'm about to leave. Got his clothes, and that is his girlfriend's dog. Her other dog is in the kennel right now. Well, not really a kennel, just they keep it in the room during the day. But, <laughs> isn't the dog, I guess the dog just doesn't like me. But, anyways, I'm about to head out. Bye, Aspen! <laughs> Whatever. Alright. I'll see y'all in the gym. So my back workout officially sucked. And that's probably one of the worst back workouts I've had in a while. I mean, it started out, it was okay going, and then I tried to get some footage, and it just wasn't happening. Every time I tried to record something, somebody was walking in the way. I couldn't, I just couldn't get good angles. Nothing. Every, all my usual spots I used were taken. It was pretty. It's kind of packed tonight, and. I had a little tripod set up. I was just just found the right angle, and a lady had to use it. So I'm I'm not about to use some of the gym equipment as my tripod and just hog up the hog up the equipment. And so I already had the box. I was like, you know, it's not that big a deal. I'm not getting any good footage today, anyways. The only footage I really wound up able to get was my burnout footage, and it, it honestly wasn't even that good. Like. I had pump suck, workout suck, whatever. Those are going to happen. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have good days in the gym where you kill it. So, like, this morning, I had a pretty freaking awesome chest workout. I had a great pump going at the end. and But came time for a back workout, not so much. So, 
one for two that ain't bad but I am excited a little bit kind of brighten my mood up because when I pulled in to my house see this box sitting there bodybuilding.com my protein came in so one of my favorite things about bodybuilding.com is that I'm going to open this right now do it live I got a magazine with the Ryan Reynolds on it from the, uh, that's going to be, oh, he's, he's in Deadpool. I, I want to go see that one. That one looks good. And then, shipment confirmation. All right, so they had a deal going on the Animal Way. You buy a four-pound tub, and you can get two of the uh, four servings for free. So I got two four trial sizes of cookies and cream that was the best flavor options they had of the other good flavors I want to try were sold out and then I got animal way let's see if I can get it chocolate mint what's up chocolate mints one of my favorite flavors of anything really protein I like mint chocolate chip everything ice cream uh, the mint Oreo fudge cookies those things are so good but look, check out this protein tub, all right? Voila, it comes with a freaking handle. How ridiculous is that? I think I get way too excited over this stuff, but it's the little things you gotta enjoy sometimes. Like, when they send you a pre-workout to try. I've actually, I've had this one before. Ah, oh, let down. I thought this was the Neon Sport pre-workout. No, this is the B-size, the BCAAs the BCAAs yeah <laughs> I had a buddy one time he called them BCAAs I'm like, really we ain't, we ain't no batteries in here so anyways you know that's cool though watermelon flavor I'm down I can always use my aminos I take them all the time so it wasn't pre-workout but it was good enough made my mood a lot better and that's me in this video guys thanks for watching I'll see y'all next time